last time on Dongon Roomba. I placed my hand on the door leading to the bathhouse. I opened it gently, inch by inch. I maneuvered my hand like a master craftsman to avoid making even the slightest sound. <laughs> a little further, a little further. You know Sakura's in there, right? If we're spotted, we die. And then... What is it? On the other side of the thick rising steam, I saw... What, what did we see? Oh my good lord. And now... Hello! And welcome to Danganronpa Part 6. Last time, we talked a lot, we met Computer Chihiro, I don't know what gender they are, <laughs> please give me a break, I don't, I, I don't know, I haven't specified, I'm gonna assume it's the same as the person, it's a he, but either way, no one has died yet, which is a good thing, uh, to some people, but now, people must die. <laughs> This is only chapter three. There's no way. Oh, maybe we'll all just get along and get get together and you know be friends, repopulate. Hello, people. Do I really want to talk to you. Good morning, Sakura. Mm. Did you just wake up? Uh, yeah. <laughs> it's 8 p.m. Why were you asleep all day? Uh, cause I am God's sleepy soul. Mm. Waking up for a breakfast meeting is fine, of course, but getting up a little early is better. You can exercise in your room till nighttime ends. A big meal after working up a sweat is divine. I really like Sakura. I, remember, I feel that she's so nice. Good lord. Hi, Hina. Hey, morning, Makoto. Good morning. You're kind of sweaty. Can you just ask <laughs> Makoto, That's keep right. it in your pants. Yep. Me and Sakura are doing our morning workout. Oh, but I didn't break her night, I promise. I just ran around my room till it ended. Why don't you come with us next time? I don't think I could keep up with you and Sakura. Aw, huh? oh, seriously? Ah. Okay, then we can do something in the rec room. I'm not good at much, but I do. I do know how to play Othello. <laughs> I'm not very good at that either, though. I like to think when I'm gonna play, so. God, they're, like, they're so in love. It's incredible. So why don't you work out with them? They're insane. You'll get buff in no time. I'm not talking to Fumi. Hello. Hello, everyone. Oh, no one's dead. Let's go. So the people here today, well, it seems yesterday, just a seven. That's a good thing. That means no one has died. Biak and Toko are a lost cause, but... Well... Hey, hey Toko's decided to stop coming for good, too. Wait, Toko's not here? You know he's, like, super depressed, right? What happens if, what happens if someone, like, uh, kills themselves, right? Do we have to solve that? Ugh. It's like he's just giving up. <laughs> For people wound as tight as he is, when you snap, snap hard. I wish there were some- Oh, that's me. <laughs> I was like, Celeste, you're being so nice. How can that be? It's just- it, it's just Makoto. I wish there was some way to make him better. Hmm. On another topic. Kyoko, did everything go all right last night? Indeed. Yeah, I didn't have any problem. Oh yeah, she left her door open, didn't she? I mean, she's live. She didn't have to kill anyone. <laughs> did you kill anyone last night? <laughs> Correct. I went and checked on the laptop a little while ago, and there weren't any problems there either, but... Kyoko seemed to hesitate, <sighs> but... It's related to this case, so I suppose you should be blunt. Anyway... I have to make a new rule. Using alter ego without permission is prohibited. Hifumi, that's... The rule is for you, you horny... 
bastard. Someone going in and out of the dressing room would draw unwanted attention from the mastermind. Oh. I would have thought that would be obvious. Why do we need to make a rule about it? Wow. That's a good question. Hey. Do you have any thoughts on that, Hifumi? Oh my god, it actually is. Hifumi! It's... Please, I beg of you. Oh, um... No, she's like, you said we all need to be very careful, Pan Pan. You're so dumb, I hate you, you're horny, I hate you. We're the same person. Huh? Minus, like, 700 pounds. Huh? What? Whatever, let's just hurry up and eat. We don't have time to stand around flapping our lips. What? what? Jeez, why are you telling me to piss off Drill Sergeant all of a sudden? Has he actually been going there? We ate breakfast in a rush, then head back to our rooms. Wouldn't Monokuma be like, Why is this fucking fat ass going into the dressing room and not losing any weight? Why is he going in there? Why is this boner big when going in and gone when going out? I don't understand. What should I do today? Hey, free time! I love free time! Okay. Oops. Okay. Let me... Did I... I need to confirm something. Did I... No, I didn't. I didn't get to start with Junko before she died. God damn it, Junko. Why did you... <sighs> also, did I get a star with... Mondo? No, I did! Everyone keeps dying before I can hang out with them! I hate you all. Well, Leon, I don't care. Can I hang out with Tagami yet? I want to know more about him. I was trying to hang out with males, because I kept hanging out with females. You know, I'm secure in my uh, masculinity. That's why I love both. Boys and girls, but you know. Where is Tagami? Is he in the library? I'm gonna find him. Please let me hear out with you. Ah, uh, there you are, you little shit. Let uh, no, I wanna hang out with Tagami. I wanna learn more about you, you I wanna determine if you're just silly. Or if you're ingenious. Those are the two types of people. I can't help but wonder who will commit the next murder. What? I wonder if it will be me. What do you think, Makoto? Who's going to kill whom? I'm gonna kill you. How about that? And shut up. Oh my god! I can actually t I can actually hang out with Yaka. Let's let's become friends. <laughs> It pains me to watch you. You don't really desire my affection so much. Yes, I do, Daddy. Hmm. Hmm. You're free to do what you will. I took away your daddy status because you were quite silly last trial, and I hope you have a reason for it. I'll give it to you while we hang out. Ignore the insults and spend time with Biakia. Back in, I grew closer today. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, I need to give him something super rich and pompous, right? Uh, something like royalty, because he has a, like a hundred billion dollars. Right. Oh wait, this, right? Scarab was considered to be scared. You have to like this, right? This is... You, you bastard. How did you get your hands on the... Oh my god! Yes, I knew it, you fucking rich fuck. <laughs> Even the collection forced the entire Tagami Corporation to be enough to obtain this gem. Look at then I have like 10 of them. You can just find them in the Monomara machine. Naturally. Um, I'm going to hold on to <laughs> You're you're such a tsundere. You're so cute. God, if only I was a female to your liking. If only I was Toko. Same Biaka is so pleased with something they gave him makes me happy. Dot dot dot. I have questions for you. Please don't change the music. Huh? You do? That's right. 
Something's been bothering me for a while now. I can't take it anymore. So to answer my question, hmm. I need you to explain to me what exactly your ultimate lucky student title means. That's a great question, and I'm glad I'm glad I don't know the answer to it. Oh well, I don't really get it myself, but what I what I do know is that I was picked at random from a pool of normal. So students. in other words. So you just got to host peak by blind luck. <laughs> I see. Well, that answers my question. What was the question? <laughs> How a commoner like you, with absolutely no unique talents or abilities, can get into the school? Just you wait to got me. Unless you die, I will make you love me. You know what? Before you die, I will make you love me. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention boring. How a boring, untalented, utterly generic commoner got it. Boring? Generic? Isn't that what you were calling yourself? Did, did, did you really have to list all that Literally. off? But it's the truth. You chose to hang out with me. This is what you get. Maybe compared to you, the ultimate affluent progeny and all. But even I... You seem to think it's merely an issue of title, but make no mistake. My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they're all ultimate. Yeah? Yeah, Takami? How about I would love to see you and Hina race in swimming. How about that, Takami? How about that? In other words... Which is to say, I am the ultimate perfection. Feel free to begin calling me that, in fact. Want to be the ultimate ultimate? That doesn't make any sense. He's really talking this to the extreme. <laughs> Taking this. Sorry, I can't read. You who have nothing. I who have everything. We are perfect lovers. <laughs> we are living proof that all men are not created equal. You have my pity, Makoto. Life can be very cruel indeed. <laughs> he's, so, he's such like he's such like a funny asshole. It's it's like two ridiculous extremes. I really want to like him, but I just I, I don't know his play in all this, you know? Like if he really did hero dirty like that for no reason at all. He's just like a fucking freak, right? <laughs> and because I pity you so much, perhaps someday I'll allow you to hear my tale of glory. Consider it a blessing, a gift from me to you to allow you to bask in my glory. God, he's like me. Having finished his mean spirited lecture, Byakya left me standing there in silence. I learned one thing about BRK today. Anytime I talk to him, I need to be prepared for extreme psychological trauma. Makoto, you just need to learn to roll with it. BRK's report has been updated, blah, 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 blah. You just like the cool and composed skill. What might that do? I did my best to keep my spirit from shattering like glass. I went back to my room. <laughs> Makoto, you just need to think like me, your other brain cell, Mr. Nugget. I've still got some time, which I do. Oh, more free time, thank god. Hopefully, Bianca is, is ding dong. What? Huh? Sounds like someone's here. No! I'm not ready to progress the story. Whoever's at my door. I want more free time. What's Bianca's skill? Uh, I bet you give me more time or something. I don't know. My lineage, intelligence, figure, athletic ability, they're all the. Oh, yeah, I forgot that doesn't tell me what the ability actually is until like, I get to trial. Thanks, Takami. Who's at my door? I'm busy. I want to hang out to. Oh! Oh, no. Listen, Nishimaru, I know you're depressed. I don't know what to say to you. To talk? Talk of. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. Is it true? Can I really see Chihiro? Huh? You mean Alter Ego? We haven't told him about it? He's... he's still alive. Um... no? Not quite. Uh, let me see. I want to talk to him. T 
Taka. The way he is now, there's no way I can explain what's going on to him. Kyoko said we're not allowed to use Alter Ego, but even so, I can't just leave him here like this. Okay, why don't we get going? Okay, I'm I'm telling you. <laughs> I mean, I'm saying there's no way that Monokuma doesn't realize, but at the same time, there's no way he doesn't realize, right? <laughs> Like, he left that laptop there, right? Knowing that we have an ultimate programmer. Hey, Kyoko, I'm about to take Ishimaru to the Just laptop. A Is that okay? Where are you going? Huh? Hey. It's probably best if you don't drag him around with you too much, given his current condition. Kyoko looked at Taka standing behind me. Yeah, I know that, but I was getting kind of hungry. I thought we could head to the dining hall or warehouse or something. Correct. Oh, look at Well then, I guess it's okay. I thought I saw a brief flicker of doubt, but maybe it was just my imagination. Uh, I guarantee you, it was not your imagination. She she knows what you're up to. Where is he again? Oh yeah, in the locker room. Don't mind us, Monokuma cameras. There's not even a camera here. How does he know when we're going in or not? Alright, in here, he's Chihiro in robot form, AI form. Okay, so there's a laptop in the locker, understand? And on that laptop, there's a program called Alter Ego. Uh, uh. How, how do I talk to it? Oh, oh, um, well, you just tell him what you want to say and I'll type it, type it in for you. Do you hate Mondo? And says I couldn't stop him. Do you hate me? It was clear he was forcing something to get the words out. From his mouth, from the bottom of his heart, he forced his weakened voice to make the sounds. Please. Uh, okay. I typed the questions exactly as Taka had asked them, and then... So, um... Do you hold yourself responsible? But... If Master could talk now, I think this is what he would say. Please, live your life for the both of us. Yeah. Oh, God. This is... I'm still depressed about the whole last case. I mean, yeah. Chihiro was really, like, selfless, right? It's impossible for me now, but can you still survive and escape? All of you. Hey, Taka. I was about to say more, but quickly closed my mouth. Oh. The one asking those questions is Taka, right? Analyzing all available data. That's the only conclusion I can come to. Uh. Master told me how close Taka and Mondo had become. So that must be why he feels responsible. The screen suddenly went dark. What appeared next was... Fucking around. What? You're not letting yourself get crushed under the weight of the responsibility, are you? Gah! Yo. A man's only worth as much as the load he can carry. You get it, right, bro? Hell, what am I saying? Of course you do. Hmm. Th that's. So, I'm sorry if I startled you. That was my attempt at this simulation using the data about Mon and the Magic had given me. I figured if Togger was depressed. That's the kind of thing Mondo would have said to him. I mean, you're wrong. Thank you. So you say you're gonna stand there, huh? Just wait for things to get better? Just take your time and get all depressed? Do them to indulge your regrets. You might even start walking again without realizing it. Sure, that kind of mediocre thinking might work for some people. <laughs> what if I said it with that kind of condescending tone? <laughs> Aww. Aww. Last case is still even. It's still progressing the depression. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, Taka? Uh, uh, oh god, he's powering up like Sakura! It's starting to sink in. The way a bucket full of water sinks into a bone dry sponge. Huh? What are you talking about? Those words, deep within my heart, they're inside of me. Uh, <laughs> 
Uh, did you dye your hair in the one in the point three seconds I wasn't looking? T Taka? Yeah! Who the fuck is Taka? I'm Goku. <laughs> your eyes. You. Oh yeah, I guess your pupils are on fire. That's normal. I do that every time. Hey, don't you worry about it. Guess I caused kind of a scene, huh? Shoot, man. And your voice? Yeah. I'm a new me called yeah. Superman. Hurrah! I'm totally stuck with fire spirit now. You dumb butt. How dare you? Watch your fucking language. You call me a dumb butt? I'll beat the shit out of you. Uh, okay, Taka, just calm down. I am calm. And don't call me Taka. Call me One Punch Man. That's that's not my name. I'm me. I am me. Take a little bone chilling howler right out of the room. Hey Taka, babe, hold on. And I took off after. But somehow, but someone stood in my way. Oh god, I'm sorry, Coco. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not my fault. Please. I will. I was just. Trying to cure depression. As if taking Taka out, she walked briskly into the dress. Just a second. What do you think you're doing? Uh, uh Kyoko, I can explain. Oh, um, no, see, this is just. I'm trying to help already. Taka. Don't go around doing whatever you feel like. It causes problems, and not just for me, for everyone. Yeah. This is kind of dumb. Honestly, it's. Incredible how Monokuma hasn't like searched this locker room with how many people go in and out. S sorry. Correct. If you're really sorry, you'll get out of here now. Okay. Okay, mommy, I'm sorry. <laughs> Finally, I headed back to my room, embarrassed and sullen. But still. Who was Taka freak freakout? I don't think that was a freakout. I think that was a awakening. <laughs> He's someone else now. I'm seriously worried about him. Ding dong, bing bong. Oh, go to sleep. I won't send you to Disney World if you don't go to sleep. <laughs> yeah, blah, blah, blah. Go to sleep. I don't care. Shut up, you stupid Mickey bear. It's nighttime already. I guess I'll have to wait till tomorrow to figure out Taka's whole thing. For now, time for sleep. Yeah, I guess what I'm not doing tomorrow. <laughs> I guess it'll force me. Oh God, please, Monokuma. Oh, we got a game console now. I don't care. Oh, I want to be in the episode, Duggan. So I don't care. I'm doing theater. I don't know why I hate video games. You're in a video game. How do you hate them? I not believe this, but I had a best friend once. I doubt that. Actually, he was my only friend. Not like me, he had all kinds of friends. So me and him were at his house one day when a big group guy showed up to hang out. He just bought the latest big budget video game. They sat there, lost in the game, passing the controller back and forth for hours. This makes sense. Okay, Monokuma? There's always people who are like, oh, we bought the newest big budget game. That doesn't make sense. There is so many games that are big budget that come out every month. What are you talking about? Not me. I just sat there watching. That's right. I just watched. What's wrong with that? I didn't care. You know what, Wakuma? You know what the correct answer to that is? How about you actually try to participate instead of just watching? How about you're like, how about give me a turn? What's this game about? You know? Give me life advice, Monokuma. Maybe you won't start killing game like that. Just by watching, I was able to take down all the best strategies, even though I never actually and played I don't it. plan on ever playing it in the future, either. Yeah? I watch Pro League. Does that make you a pro? I didn't think so. Fuck you, Monokuma. That was the worst lesson yet. You know what? I learned stuff in every Monokuma theater except that one. That's a lie. I... Most of them are probably useless, but that one was the most useless. Fuck you, I don't Good care. Good morning, morning, wake up, whatever, whatever. Get out of here. Alright, I need to hurry up and get to the dining hall and tell everyone what happened with Taki yesterday. I do? We just, I mean, what are we going to tell them? He awakened? 
maybe he's already in the dining hall awakened, doing his duties as... What was he again? The ultimate class leader or something? Who's here? How are you, know? you the other one here? Yo, I've been waiting. Huh? Are you the other one here? Where's everyone hmm. else? I went on ahead. Went on ahead to where? It's another murder. Hey, come on. We can talk about it later. Now yeah, let's go take a bath. I don't want to take a bath for you. Bath? I want to take a bath for you. Why are we the only people? Oh, never mind. I want to take a bath. Someone help me! It's me? What's going on? Do I really care? Makara, someone! I never asked you for anything, but let's get out. I don't care. I still hate you. What? What happened? What? She, she's trying to kill me. Celeste? Assume me pointing at. Oh, that's okay. I mean, I want to kill you too. Huh? Kyoko's trying to kill you? <laughs> Who should I interact with in this situation? Kyoko, why- I mean, I know why you're speaking to me, but... <sighs> reel, it in, reel it in a bit. Reel it in a bit. I never said I was gonna kill him. I simply asked him a question. I don't know why he made the same mistake twice. Hey, Fumi, are you seriously fucking coming here, like, every night to talk to with, with Chihiro the AI? Because if that's the case, I'm okay with killing you right now. You don't understand how much I hate you. Same mistake, what did he do? So, he snuck into the dressing room in the middle of the night and access all three without permission. What are you doing, Hifumi? I can't believe- I mean, I feel like at this point, Monokuma just knows we have this and is okay with us having this information. And when I caught him last night, he was hugging the laptop and breathing the strings. You're such a fucking weirdo! I hate you for me! How are you alive this long? Someone kill him, please. Huh? But what were you doing? <laughs> he was coming on the laptop. <sighs> it was insane. He was masturbating to it. I cut his dick off. Let's go. You know, that's that's a thing, you know? We can't kill people without, like, you know, going to trial. We can tie people up and torture them. How about that? Let's cut Hufumi's dick off. I thought I made myself clear yesterday, but since being settled didn't work. Listen to me. I suppose I have to clarify myself further. Yeah, please don't kill me. I'm gonna kill you. Wrong. Also, when... I... When Monokuma... If, the, if he's, like... I'm not gonna put cameras in here. When he put at least listening devices in here, I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna try to What if I click on? Just continue. I missed! I called, you know, whatever, I misclicked. Whatever, shot. What? I just wanna hear him explain himself. Okay, whatever. I. He, do we really need him to explain himself? I know why. Um, Hifumi, could you tell me what happened? Well... Uh, well, I just... I was talking. However, what was prohibited, was it not? <laughs> I mean, you see, talking to her was just so much fun. I just, it's not a her. The AI is based off the same person. Uh, um... Whoa, okay, time out. I can't believe I'm about this, but... Hifumi, you're not gonna tell us. You fell in love or something, are you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think all blood killing machine of the underworld would never fall in love, but that's well, wait, no way. Seem... Is, it, is this love? <sighs> can we just Can we just have a majority vote to execute whoever? According to the spirits. I I have to do a psychotic <laughs> Psychic rating for a certain famous CEO once. I think I was seriously head over heels for a mannequin. He had a wedding and everything. How about that? And your eyes just now. I see him looking in his eyes. You know nothing. Shut up. She's not a mannequin. She's the angel. I feel as if. And don't bother telling me angels exist. What we have can't be defined by your petty words. Uh. Since you hero, please tell me the AI just hates him. 
Yeah, you're totally in love. <sighs> so hard to think down like this. But, well, at the beginning, I just wanted to hear her say master one more time. But but then it was poking around her settings and stuff. And so she was a well-designed program. It was like, how can I say? It was the first time I was able to talk like that. It was a normal girl. Am I legitimately supposed to feel bad for him if he threw me here? It's not a girl, right? Like, the, isn't it based on the creator? Like, unless, unless, like, Chiro designed the AI to, like, like, if Chiro wanted to be a girl and designed the AI to be, like, more girlish, sure, but... Either way, there's no way to hero the AI female would f like this fuck, right? <sighs> but she's definitely not a normal girl. What? And also, yeah, it's an AI. Even all we did was talk about my hobbies and stuff. She wasn't annoyed to discuss or anything. Yeah, she's programmed not to be annoyed or disgusted. You're like me in real life. <laughs> <laughs> Your stars are so interested for me. Come on, tell me more. She's decided. I want to learn everything you have to teach me. I suppose. That's the first time a girl ever said anything like that to me. Besides my mom, I mean. Okay, you know what, Fumi? I feel a little. A little pity. But still. Hey. Your mom says stuff like that to you? That's kind of amazing all by itself. <laughs> That's why I'm just like... so happy. It was so much fun. Before I knew it, I found myself, you know, liking her. Her face, her personality, her voice, even her keyboard. Well... <laughs> even the keyboard. <sighs> I think you have misunderstood the situation, Fumi. Are you okay with this? Alter Ego was not interested in who you were. It wasn't just a way in what you knew. It is an artificial intelligence. It exists to learn. Of course I wanted to hear of things you did not know. Thank God I live in this era, so I can be Hifumi and just wait for AI to become my lover. <laughs> you were an expert in many things Chihiro could not have taught it about. For what that is worth. Honestly. Alter Ego wants that information. That is all. I know that. I know. I mean, I do know that, but still. Are you saying it's totally hopeless? You gotta be freaking kidding me. Is that Taka? Hifumi? Everyone hates you. Warranted. If you have a, if you gain a friend, that's on you. I don't care. Just keep it away from me. F you. Hey, you jerks! I'm sitting here listening to you guys jibber jabber on about Hello. everything. Oh, talk. Are you back? Are you super powered? What happened to your hair? Yeah. Who the hell's talk? Huh? Um, you. Yeah. Listen up. It's me. Got it. What the heck? Huh? Uh, you're who? What? Don't bullcrap me. Isn't it obvious? I'm Kiyotaka and Mondo. So, like, Kiwanda, I guess. <gasps> I, I guess I'm s I I'm gonna stick a banana up your tailpipe. Are you having split personalities already? <laughs> what? What? What the heck? What the heck kind of fusion is this? <gasps> What's happened to you, Taka? Uh, actually, I don't remember what had happened the day before. Well, then. So, because of what Alter Ego said to me. Um. Are you sure it's Alter Ego's fault? Maybe you want to just go shut up and possess him. I uh, wish that was the case. Uh, Ghost? Nope, there's no such thing. What are y'all whining about? Come on. What? God, you're really cheesing me off, as Mondo would say. Hey, Afumi, you fucking perverted fuck. Yes! Yeah! I don't know what you're talking F about. You. Bro belongs to me. Huh? Bro? What? Ha! Huh? Ha! Huh? I love that voice file. I love the ha. Huh? I love little ha. Huh? Don't worry. Yeah! Alter you. He's an exact copy of the one who gave me my soul back. Yeah. And I'm not gonna let anyone else have it ever again. Fudgy idiot. Mm. I'm afraid. I can't allow that. Guys, please just allow the AI to do its thing. Can we stop trying to fuck the AI? What? 
So it would seem. I can't withdraw. Mr. Ishimaru. I, since I have this opportunity, let me see this right now. That's it. I'm sure of it. Destiny has, has bound me and her together in the Gordian knot of true love. <laughs> well, me and him have been smelted together in the white hot heat of friendship. Hey, guys, please. I beg of you. <laughs> Mora, talk down to me and I'll wrap my fist right to all four of your vital points. Please do it. Well, I'm budget the speed of sound. I don't have any arm here, so there's no drag. Enough already. Knock it off, both of you. Please shut the fuck up. For the love of God. For the love of all that is holy. Shut up. Hey. This isn't blunt. This doesn't belong to any one person. To your left and to all of us. We can use him to find like an ass to find our clues. Mm. Kyoka's right. If anything dares to disturb our peace any further, hey. they'll have to deal with me. Sakura, please kill both Ishimaru and Hifumi. Mm. Mm -hmm. They are the most unstable of our group so far. What? Anyway. Until Otrikos finishes work, don't do anything weird. I made myself clear. So? I can't hear you. I... Yes. Yeah. Got it. So then. Okay then, let's get out of here. I can't afford to linger too long. Hey. Are you sure it's okay to let them off with a warning? Maybe I should break all their legs. That's a good idea. Indeed. It's actually a great idea. Yes, I have a plan. It'll be fine. After watching Fumi and Tarka leave, dejected, we all went back to our rooms. Free time? I'm still mourning because of everything that's happened. I'm told already. Well, anyway, I have to just pull myself together. What did you do with the rest of my day? Yes, free time! Ah, hiding in the same spot, I see. My little <laughs> Tagami. Jeez, what is the next life or death killing you going to begin already? How about you start it? I will have to get things going myself to alleviate this boredom. Yeah? And you'll fucking die. How about that? How's that for boredom? Yes! I want to learn more about you. Dagami, tell me about yourself. I want to know why you're such a freak. Huh, suppose it's no use arguing. I will dis die. I will die in my s What? I will die to give you a tiny fraction of my time. Word. Sorry, my brain is too small for that word. It's like design and die, but spelled differently. But a tiny fraction of time would be Akia. Back in a little closer. Hey, do you want another one of that scarab? Because I think I have like a hundred. Where is it? I have two more. Take it. Take it. Yeah, this is yeah, it's the greatest thing you ever saw, even though I already gave you one. Have so, in one. other words... Just to be clear, being the ultimate affluent project is only one of my two. Some people think I rely on the care and protection of the Tagami name. Huh? Is this a mon monologue or something? <laughs> I don't really rely on my family. Rather, I am my family's savior. The Tagami Corporation reaches across the world, true. It will take us to even greater heights, like space. You really like Tesla? It is expected of me naturally, for only my own family has recognized my ultimate superiority. <laughs> In other words, even among the Togami family, I am the chosen among the chosen. So much confidence. Naturally. And that confidence is justified, I assure you. It comes from the battles I fought and won. The battles? <laughs> World War III? I am personally worth over four billion dollars separate from my Tagami family assets. Good for you. How the heck did you make that much money? In other words... The stock market, NFTs. Do you know about NFTs? You're lying. I buy and sell shares and assets based on market trends all within a single day. Yes. Surely even someone as simple mind as you has heard of this technique. So you buy and sell stuff on the stock market, doing everything in a single day. And that's called day trading, trading cards, trademarks? Uh, day trading? 
talking about day trading, right? And you were able to make four billion dollars doing that? Yeah, tip for everyone, just go to the stock market. You can uh, make four billion dollars in one day. I can't believe no one else is doing this, it's crazy. That's right. Well, I first started doing this to keep myself occupied, and before I knew it, there it was. Four billion dollars, it just appeared in my hand. It's really not big. It's really not a big deal. I'd say it's a super big deal. Wait, but are high schoolers even allowed to buy stocks and stuff? Why wouldn't they? Don't make me repeat myself. I'm Biyakia Tagami. Is that meant to be an explanation? <laughs> Four billion dollars, nothing to the Tagami Corporation, but for personal use, that's not bad. So now do you understand, right? I'm not merely the child of a modern day nobility. You know, Biakia, maybe we should start calling you the ultimate day trader. How about the ultimate friendship? Oh, I don't do that anymore. It was too simple, so I got bored of it pretty quickly. Jeez, you realize how insulting this sounds to the rest of us? <laughs> of course, that's how I feel about anything I do. Frankly, life is too easy. It's only natural for me to do whatever I want in this world. Man, he really is confident. Like, worlds apart. Galaxies apart. The actor's report card has been updated. Still reeling for Biakia's story, I went back to my room. Do I have to deal with uh, Ishimaru coming to me again? I still have some time. I feel like I'm wasting some time somewhere. Oh, I have more free time? Insane. Biakia, where are you? I guess, she, I guess I should press the doorbell. Ding dong! What do you want? I wonder who was coming to talk to me. Turns out it's always useless. Everyone called him a code. I've been looking everywhere for you, you little shit. I want to be friends. I'm um, sure him with the con. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's fine. Fine. I don't mind allowing you to indulge in my intention. I hope you appreciate this. I do. I'm not really learning anything about your, like, Motives. I spent time with Biakia. Eh, blah, blah, blah. Hey, do you want another of the same exact gift that I gave you before, like two times in a row? Well, good thing I have one more of them. Where is it? Yep, I have one more. Please tell me you don't want another one. <laughs> this is. Yeah, you love it. You're like coming on <laughs> me, whatever. Listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. Uh, what could Biaka want to talk to me about? I have to. I have a bad feeling about this. Uh, oh, I'm um, sure. What's up? You know, only a chosen few, perhaps one percent of us, are able to succeed in life. So, sure. in other words, for the other ninety-nine percent, their dreams will never come true. Some never even have a dream in the first place. Eh, it depends how you look on it. Spending every waking hour touring the script together a meager living, just barely getting by. What? I just don't understand. Is there any meaning to a life like that? Are you saying that 99% should just die? <laughs> Why are you asking me? <laughs> because you're poor than 99%, of course. Why do you even feel the need to ask? He's going to insult me somehow. <laughs> Up until now, I've never been around anyone like that, so I'm interested. So tell me, how does it live a life without hope, without potential or ambition or dreams? Uh, come on. I don't have ambition or dreams? I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, maybe I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but... Do you have to go around saying that to everyone? Can you only be happy by being better than others? <laughs> Your complaints are as old and tired as a third rate pop song from any generation. Yet those are the words of the 99%. That is how you find comfort in your tiny cold blue world. So, stop saying stuff like that. <laughs> Sorry, I cannot. S I can't not speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you'll never be in position to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. You just have no consequence. 99% of the world could disappear and nothing would change? 
Yeah, I somehow doubt that Tagami. Well, that's sure or not, it doesn't matter. You can just live a totally normal, unimportant life. You can still find happiness in that. If I can live a life that I'm sensitive with, that's all that matters. If I spend all my time comparing my life to other people's, i never be happy. Sure, maybe you can do that. You were guaranteed this from the day you were born, so... What? Hold it. From the day I was born, you have no idea. I don't have a clue what you're talking about. What? What? Oh, did I strike a little nerve in the Shigami veins? Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I've gone to battle and emerge victorious. That is why I'm cho I am the chosen. I had to bet my money against a 7-Eleven Slurpee. Do you know who won? I did. What are you talking about? You're spoiled, all of you. Running away into a world of self-indulgence. You know what? Despite what Tagami did last trial, this is actually very interesting. <laughs> He's like a super... Like... Out of touch rich kid. Who doesn't know about anything. But pretends to. I actually like his character. As long as he just... If he, next trial, which, you know it's coming. As long as he's not the killer, or killed. And he doesn't pull any sh shenanigans on the dead body. I'd be really interested to know, like, what he actually is. Battle, competition, rivalry, run away from it all. That is why the 99% walk the path of the Such do. ignorance. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. After showing a surprising amount of emotion, Bianca quickly makes it nice. What the heck on to him? He's acting truly normal up until... Until I said something about being guaranteed success from the day he was born. I wonder why that set him off. I wonder. I've never seen an anime or any media ever. Got this report card. I got ambience influence. I would have to go to bed. I couldn't stop thinking about Bianca while I went to, back to my room. Dakota, you need to get your sexuality into place. I can't tell if you want to be friends with these people or if you want to fuck all these people. Oh, ho, 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 I want to be in this episode. You know what? I'm going to put in this episode. I want to be in it. Go to sleep. Shut up. I'm not. I'm <laughs> literally even going to cut the door, this. Okay, you're then. not going to cut this because you're speaking too. I'm not speaking. You're speaking, you fucking idiot. I tell him already, I guess I'll just go to bed for today. Oh, good. Thank God we have another Monokuma theater. What is that? Happy New Day! I'm the kind of guy I don't want to celebrate New Year! I want to celebrate the dawn of it every new day! It's like me. Because every new day is a celebrating, so I drink every day. I'm not an alcoholic. Once again, Happy New Day! What was that? They blew around the for that one. You know, I'm Oh, hold on, wake up, you fucking nerds, whatever. I went back to sleep. Guess what? Like, I'm gonna skip your dialogue. How about that? What are you gonna do? Or get to the dining hall. Alright, I guess we'll go to the dining hall. Whatever. I just wanna hang out with Biakia. Wait, are we maxed on that guy? If you're maxed, you can. We're not! Uh, back quickly. Hey. God damn it. Don't die, Bianca. I have like at least one more hangout to do with you. Who's here? I wonder. Oh, a lot of people. Oh. Talk on Kyoko, not here today. Kyoko's not here today. You know? Kyoko's still on guard duty, probably. Hmm. Does she ever sleep? I have no idea about Taka. Well,. Yeah, probably Mason. doing awaken things. May as well. Yeah, may as well just forget about the game. Shut up, Afumi. So, um... Yeah, I get so mad. You know? The rival's in love. What are you gonna do? Hmm. Don't put me in similar as that. That, that virgin. I'm gonna catch his virginity. You're a virgin!
virgin! I'm gonna get angry. I hate Hifumi so much. I can't be the only one who hates Fumi, right? Like, is there actually a community who likes Fumi? But he's everything that I am in a video game form. How would I not hate him? Oh, my guess is you're already infected. Ha! 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 Wait. Who? I would love a survey of actually who's a virgin here in this group. Wait, can you really catch it? <laughs> I mean, we can change that. Well, we have to repopulate the school. Stop being so vulgar. Let's eat breakfast. As soon as my hands approach my food. <laughs> oh, good. Genocide Jill. Ah, huh? that voice. Doors to the dining hall exploded open and a figure appeared. <laughs> <laughs> so in the end, so it's you, Jensen Jack, and that's enough. Don't bother asking why we arrived at the same time. The answer should be obvious. Oh my god. Tagami is interacting with other people. We haven't seen that since the end of chapter one. Yep. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. Uh -huh. I'm wearing a red lingerie today. Huh? Yeah, I'm sure that's why. Um, I don't think I wanted to know. Where'd you even find that? Hold on a second, you. Uh, 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 I'm using this huh sound effect for the hundredth time. Hmm. Have you reached that certain age? With your top power level, like 35, 22, 33, you start up. You start up being on top and trying to like thin her down south. You literally cannot you see her figure? Me. Look at your melon. This is just a gargantuan. Do you duck him in milk every time? Every time she said that. Calm down. Jesus. Oh. You, you're starting to freak me out. No forgiveness. If you, lay a fi if you lay a finger on my wife, I will show you no mercy. <sighs> so, what do you... So, what do you want? Should you not hear join us for practice? Naturally. Of course not. I came to hear a story. A story? A story that nobody's bothered to tell me yet. Are you talking about Alter Ego? Mm. Sorry, but we can't just talk about that right now. What? Why not? Huh. I guess he doesn't know. Eh, I guess he wasn't there for that. But somehow... Toko was there for that in the fucking backseat. Because of certain circumstances. Ugh. Well, but now you're gonna grab anything. Now you're all concerned. Oh boy, it's all clear now. I've made a decision. I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna feed your body to the vultures. Oh no, not Hagakure. Are there people who actually like Hagakure and Fumi? <laughs> How can I mess up to get on you? What? But isn't this a democracy? Or would you exclude those who don't fit into your tyrannical majority? That's not what we're That's doing. Fine. Well, whatever. Nothing else. Tell me what's going on with Taka. When I saw him yesterday, I happened to know something seemed off. So I was curious. Is this before or after he was Indeed. greatly depressed? Talk has become utterly useless. Celeste, you don't have to say it like that. Keep it in. Use my suit. Don't you gotta be so blunt. Did his spirit collapse or something? He's unable to withstand this environment. You know, if he just showed up to breakfast for like 10 minutes, you might know. Those men who clothe themselves in the cheap fabric of justice are often the first to fall. <laughs> Perhaps that will make things all the more interesting. Such Let me leave you with a bit of advice. Don't come to rely on false camaraderie. In other words, friendship. For the mentally inclined, like me. Or you'll reap its bitter rewards. What the heck? That's why he came, because of that amazing advice. <laughs> it seems I'm unwelcome here. I don't French desire me myself. Mm, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, get out of here. Stop talking. You don't need to come with me. Yep. You don't have to play hard again, Master. You just play hard. Oh, Jesus. That doesn't make any sense. 
I guess I'll just lay back on the wood. Start picking up speed and see you sprinting out of the diamond. <laughs> <laughs> he ran away! So now he's running hard to get, I see. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ah! Um... God, they're such a perfect couple. I hope they get married and have kids. So, so at the end there, what was that all about? I think it's best not to worry about uh, it. Um, just no. Okay, was like, um, maybe like mean guys are like different, you know, flesh or things like that. Hmm. Yeah, so. Those of us left in the dining hall finished our breakfast, then I went back to our rooms. Is there more free time? Or. Huh, what do we do today? We do have more free time, but however, I think this episode has been going on long enough. This might be a short episode, I don't know. I can't really tell. But either way, this has been an interesting episode of learning about Tagami, but not really. I'm still wondering why he's the way that he is. Maybe the next Hano might tell me something. But either way, that will have to wait till next time. I hope you all enjoyed, please leave a like and a comment if you did, and I hope to see you all next time. Until then, bye!